everyone, I hope you're well. If you're new to my channel, my name is Katie and today I'm doing a P.O. Box unboxing video. I haven't done one of these videos in ages. In fact, I think it's been over two or three months maybe. So I've had quite a lot of stuff. I actually have a crate in front of me as well as multiple bags. Before I get into this video, just wanted to say a couple of apologies. Firstly, I'm trying a different background. This is my living room and it's so nice and bright and airy in here, but the sun keeps going in and out, so apologies if the lighting in this video changes. I've literally tried to film this bit five times and each time the sun has changed and it's really annoyed me. So I'm really sorry if the lighting is inconsistent in this video. Also because we're filming in the front room, there is a lot of traffic noise outside, so apologies if there's a little bit more noise than normal. Secondly, my lips are so sore. I'm really sorry if it doesn't look appealing or appetizing or particularly perfect. Um, I'm on Rakutane, my lips are falling apart, I look like the Joker, the sides of my lips are cracking, it really hurts to talk. It even hurts to eat. It is that sort of, so please, please be nice to me. Let's get into the product. See anything you like in this video that you'd like swatches or proper in-depth reviews of then just leave me a comment down below and I will get on that. So the first thing came in this snazzy package. I should also say that I've had a little bit of a peek of everything that's arrived. There's a couple of things I've tried out, there's a couple of things that I haven't even touched properly yet because I've been saving them for the because I've been saving them for this video. So yes, some things I haven't some things I have you know, blah, blah, blah. from Urban Decay and they have basically sent like a wedding planning slash bridal package I guess so in this little package we have some pencils which is just perfect for wedding planning they say really cute things on them like princess for a day wedding of the year I'll be there happy ever after stuff like that super super cute love wedding stationery. There's a Kate Spade spiral notebook with kind of a gold foil which is perfect for jotting down wedding planning notes as well. And there are some makeup bits. So we have the Nurban, the Nurban Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette in the shade Streak. I have one of these already and it's one of my favourites. A weightless complete coverage concealer in the shade Light Neutral. 24-7 Glide on Double M Pencil in the shade Crave slash Venus. I haven't actually seen what colour this is yet, but I'm guessing... Oh wow, it's double-ended! Yeah, this is exactly what I need. So on one end there's kind of like a nude eyeliner and the other end there is a black one. This is so perfect, I love stuff like this. And finally there's one of their Vice lipsticks in the shade Disobedient, which is a cream formula. Packaging is so beautiful of Urban Decay lipstick. It's not nude, it's definitely more on the pink side, but it's very, very pretty, very bridal. The, this stuff is all perfect for me because, if you might know, I'm getting married next year, so I'm well and truly into the whole kind of bridal wedding planning theme at the moment. If you would like to see any more bridal or wedding content on my channel, do let me know and I can get straight on that. I've made the mistake of wearing one of these off the shoulder tops, and as soon as I move my arms, it goes like this. <laughs> Today's such a fail. I have a couple of boxes from Model Zone. I love these packages when they arrive because the packaging is so swanky and I'm obsessed with their nail varnish. So in the first package we have loads of beautiful new, almost neon um, nail polishes and these I think are called the Polish for Tans. So they're very bright and luminous, perfect for enhancing a tan. I think my favorite has to be maybe this one. It's so beautiful. It's called Surf's Up and it's like a neon pink. And then there's like also a neon orange. I'm not one to ever have a tan, but I am obsessed with neons, especially on my toes all year round. I know exactly what's in this package because I've already photographed it for my blog. So that full review should be up very, very soon. But it is their beautiful new Dare to Bear makeup collection. So this is a stunning range. I love it all, honestly. Which consists of five nude nail varnishes, five nude lipsticks, a powder and also an eyeshadow palette. And I have photographed and swatched all of these on my blog so I'll leave a link to that down below that you can go and check out. So the palette looks like this and it has 10 stunning nude shadows so you can create a really nice 
kind of neutral eye look and then the lipsticks are just my favorite i adore them so much a couple more things that i've written about on my blog that i probably don't have time to go through today by terry's new summer kind of collection i photographed it all swatched it all and it's up on my blog now i'll leave a link to that down below but honestly some of these things are my new favorites including this blush palette which comes in a really cute sleek pouch and it contains three bright beautiful blush shades and then three kind of contour highlight neutral shades and oh i'm in love with this oh oh i dropped it it's all right we're all right it's not ruined oh my god mercury in retrograde i'm really trying to get back into my blog recently i let it go a lot over the summer but i'm well and truly back on the bat and now so please go and read it if you would like to see more in-depth reviews of all of these okay this isn't beauty related but i've got to say it is one of my favorite things that i've ever received in a po box um and it was a little package from tea pigs i love tea end of really i love tea tea is the best thing i cannot go a day without drinking tea the lighting is getting bright oh my god but yes tea pigs so they've sent their organic matcha superpower green tea and I have wanted to try it, a matcha tea at home for a really long time. I've had them out and about at cafes before and I love the way they make me feel. They give me a kind of boost without being too unhealthy I feel like. So I'm really excited to be able to try this at home. This was also in my peer box and it is a whisker and I'm guessing it's for this, I'm guessing. Also inside the box, oh, loads of tea. This makes me so, so happy, I cannot express. So inside the little box there are loads of mini kind of tea samples. The joy I'm feeling right now is just too much. So we've got ones like rhubarb and ginger tea, chocolate and mint tea, oh my gosh, licorice and peppermint, which I know is one of my friend's favourites, Lucy, shout out if you're watching, peppermint leaves, peppermint is like a favourite tea of mine, I have one every single night before bed, so yeah, I'm really excited to try all of these, oh, I have this from the body shop, it is filled with their new face masks, I've used one of these already, but they've released these new face masks, and there's one kind of for every skin type and every skincare kind of problem. So there's Energize Me, which is to give your skin a wake up call. Nourish Me, which is Ethiopian honey and a deep nourishing mask. This is the one that I used and it was, it was very bizarre actually. It actually looks like honey and it's quite gooey, but once it's on your face, you do feel very, very soft. I really like the trend at the moment of kind of multi-masking. The light is changing, oh my gosh. But so, for example, I'd probably apply the clarifying one to my forehead and my chin and then the moisturising one all over because that is where I tend to get a little bit more dry. But yeah, I love this. Definitely going to have a proper pamper and experimental session with these bad boys. Lip balm. So this was in my peer box the most recent time I went and picked it up. And anything to do with Too Faced, I am obsessed with it's one of my favorite brands and this is the power of makeup by nikki tutorials so they've collaborated with nikki to create this palette and set and i've actually done the power of makeup tag on youtube so i'll leave a link to that down below but this includes a palette which looks like this it's so so beautiful these colors are just too much it kind of has everything you need in it to create an entire look so nine eyeshadows two blushes a contour and a highlighter and then there's also this little envelope thing which i really don't want to ruin and in this oh my gosh it contains a mini better than sex mascara this is one of my all-time favorite mascaras ever it's so good a two-faced sketch maker which is a liquid art eyeliner i've never tried one of their eyeliners before so I'm definitely going to enjoy that. It has an eyeshadow insurance, which is an eye primer. And finally, a glitterally glamour dust, which is a little shimmer powder. Let me know if you'd like a makeup tutorial using all these range because i would be well up for that also did anyone watch my foundation decluttering video because if so you would have seen that um i had to give away my Too faced born this way foundation because it was just so 
so orange on my skin tone it was i think it was the lightest shade and it was so orange but then the pr ladies got in touch and was like we actually do lighter shades but you can only get them online so i have two new ones one is in my makeup bag because it's the perfect shade for me i think it's called opal and they've also sent one in pearl which again is just so much lighter and way more of a colour match for my skin tone so they do do more variations other than that are in store so go and check those out soap and glory have sent some makeup which i'm really excited about their super cat skinny eye precision eye black eyeliner i cannot wait to use this because i'm a massive fan of liquid liner i wear liquid liner almost every single day if i'm wearing makeup so really really excited about that They've also sent some blushes. This one is called Cheeky Pink and it's a really pretty kind of bright pink shade and it also lifts up so you've got a little brush underneath there as well. This brush is really soft, that's really impressive. And then this one is called Twinkle Rose which is very similar but a little bit more muted and it has a gorgeous kind of gold undertone and there's also a couple of palettes. So we have the Ultimate Collection palette which contains 10 beautiful matte shades in a variety of colours. I'd say these are mostly neutral but there is a dark navy blue in there as well. And then they've also sent over the Kick Into Neutral palette which is very similar but contains more kind of shimmer shades. So again very neutral. There's one called Pink Little which looks like a beautiful rose gold. So I might do some tutorials using these as well. I don't know how to say this brand but they're called Per Cosmetics. Is that it? I'm not entirely sure. I haven't really used any of their products before so I was really intrigued to see what these were. So first we have the Per Give Back Glow Forward Gradient Matte Shimmer Bronzer and this looks like some of the money goes towards charity, which is great. Yeah, a portion of the proceeds from this purchase will be donated to Action Against Hunger. I do love it when makeup brands team up with charities because it makes me feel like I'm giving a little back into the community instead of just buying makeup. Comes in a big brown disc like this, and then inside it's a beautiful kind of shimmer brick containing six different shades. So you've got three matte, three kind of shimmer, and then they've also sent over a Moonlight Glow Strobe and Highlight Palette which are oh, so excited to try. I love this packaging, it looks very, very luxurious. This contains three cream highlighters. They look very, very natural actually. They're not chunky or full of glitter at all, so it's not gonna be too obvious that you've kind of layered up that highlight. Yeah, I'm looking forward to experimenting with that. I've been very lucky and have received some bits from Estee Lauder. The first two things are from their Bronze Goddess range. So we have an eyeshadow palette containing six stunning shades. These are so beautiful. Again, I'm instantly drawn to the kind of the turquoise colour. I think it's so beautiful. And then there's also this, which I've only just found in my PO box. Oh, that is just beautiful. It's a palette with a bronze highlight and a blusher in this kind of prism effect. It's so, so pretty to look at. And as usual with all Estee Lauder products, so pigmented and high quality and worth every penny. There's also a couple of things in here from their um, Estee Edit range. So this is the first. It is a massive bronzer that looks like this. Again, with the blushes, the blushes are quite similar from the Estee Edit, but it has a kind of shimmer detail running through the matte in a kind of paint splat effect, which is so beautiful. I really love this. There's a massive thing going on here, aren't there, with massive bronzers at the moment. Like, massive is the only way to go with bronzers. Great mirror, though, for travelling with. Definitely take that out and about with me. I have a highlighter here called Heat. This is called the Flash Illuminator Fluid Powder. It says, swirl it on all over for a warm sun glow. So, so beautiful. Very subtle shimmer, perfect for adding on to the bits of your face that pop out a little bit more to make them look super glowy. And then something I'm really excited about <laughs> is a lip balm. This is a Cocoa Balm Coconut Infused Lips. And I can't get enough of lip balm at the moment. This is very unique. I have no idea what this looks like, a rubber or something. <gasps> so you squeeze this little bit here and product comes out the top. And then you can hot it on your lips. Mmm, smells like coconut. 
really hope I'm not filming in HD because you do not want to see my lips at the moment. Bare Minerals also sent over some of their Bare Pro Performance Wear Powder Foundation. But both of these shades are too dark for me so I cannot wear them unfortunately. Um, this one is far too orange. This is warm light. So I think I might go and actually purchase one in my shade because I do and I would really like to start wearing powder foundations rather than liquid. I just feel like they're a lot better for your skin in general. There is an awful lot of Urban Decay in this um, video but I wanted to show a lot of it because it is one of my favourite makeup brands and it has been. For probably like eight years, I've been obsessed with Urban Decay, even back in the day when it was available to buy in boots. I had a part-time job alongside studying, and I remember spending every single penny that I had spare on Urban Decay and their makeup palettes. It's a lot of Urban Decay, but that's because I want to show you them because I love their products so much. So these are their new colour correcting fluids. There are five different shades of this, and they're all perfect for targeting kind of different problem areas on your skin so for example the green one reduces redness so you use that if you have any blemishes before you pop on your foundation but lavender balances sallowness peach masks circles and spots so i know a lot of people use this underneath their eyes as does pink it brightens dark areas and yellow corrects dullness so i love these i think the packaging and the little bottles are beautiful they look so beautiful all together because of all the shades and i have started reviewing these for a blog post talking of urban decay one of the most exciting things was in my p.o box and i have put off using them until i'd filmed this video so the, literally this has been sitting on my desk for two weeks now but look at this they've sent over some of their brand new makeup brushes and also a nice little makeup brush holder to hold them in so these brushes are actually made from recycled plastic bottles which I just think is so impressive like you'd never know because they're so beautiful and sleek and just stunning kind of sturdy products you wouldn't ever think that and there's also got super soft synthetic hair which mimics real hair so you're going to get a really beautiful application oh, i've been dying to use these so i'm so glad i finally can now that this video is finished but there's a real nice kind of selection of brushes here the ones that stand out to me mostly are the eyeshadow contour e211 i also love the look of this one which is kind of like a domed fluffy brush called the smoky crease which is exactly what i'd use it for there's also a domed concealer brush which looks like it's a little less dense so you can really kind of buff that product in oh i just love them all can you tell i have a thing for domed brushes because i'm absolutely obsessed with this one as well which is the large tapered foundation brush they're all so soft and i have a full blog post coming on them soon maybelline have sent a couple of bits i'm really excited about this palette it's called the rock nudes and it contains loads of shades 12 shades to be precise and the idea is that you can create 13 different looks with just this one palette which is great and then i've also got a couple of lipsticks this one is called orange danger that is right up my street i love a good orange red lipstick and then this one is called midnight merlot and it's a nice dark brown shade they also have a couple of these new strobing Sticks? Oh, I can't say that. Strobing sticks. Um, and these are illuminating highlighters. I love a highlighter in a cream stick form. I just think it's so easy to apply and these feel really, really silky. Um, I was very happy to find some bits from Biodermats. I've been using the Bioderma Micellar Water for so long now, so I'm excited to try some more of their products. This is the Cebium purifying cleansing foaming gel and it says it's good for combination to oily skin it's paraben free and hypoallergenic i love the packaging of this i think it's so nice it will look really nice in my bathroom but my skin is so so dry at the moment i'm not entirely sure i can use this until after i finished raccutane because my skin is the complete opposite of oily right now and they've also sent their moisturizing compensating care which is for acne prone skin weakened by drying treatments so this actually might be perfect because my skin is so so dry from Rakuten which is of course an acne, acne treatment 
So yeah, I think this sounds great. I'm definitely going to try this out. Also some little skincare bits from Kiehl's. Again, Kiehl's is a brand I've loved for so long. I've got so many favourite products from Kiehl's, um, so I'm excited to see if I can add any more to my favourites list. The first is the Cactus Flower and Tibetan Ginseng Hydrating Mist. I do love a good hydrating mist. I don't use them nearly half as much, but when I do, I always feel a lot more refreshed and revitalised. So this is a cooling facial mist which purifies and hydrates skin to improve the overall texture for a revived healthy looking appearance. This sounds like what I need right now. I think I should definitely get into a habit of applying these just after I've washed my face and before I apply my moisturiser. And then we also have this and I know for a fact I love this already. I already have one and um, which I just had to throw away unfortunately because it had just gone over the date that I kind of felt comfortable using it. But this is the Ultra Light Daily UV Defense Sunscreen with SPF 50. Oh, I love this so much. I wear SPF 50 every single day, so I'm really, really excited. Some bits from a brand called Erin, which I think is like the daughter partner of Estee Lauder, like the daughter company. Um, and this is called Tan Tangier Vanille which is a perfume and I also have the body wash and anything that says kind of vanilla or vanille on it I know I love it already. The packaging is super cute it kind of has a lid that looks like a stone which I think is really pretty. Oh it's just so nice. Kind of smells like a, a spicy musky vanillary talcum powder. Really really pretty. Um, I'm excited to use this in my shower as well I think I'll feel a lot more luxurious using something as beautiful as this in my shower room. YSL have sent over some of their Rouge Voluped Shine lipsticks. I nearly died when I received this. In fact, this package went to my old flat and when I found out, I was like, no, I'm never going to get them again. But thankfully, um, the new talent sent them back. So I was so grateful for that. Again, got full swatches coming on the blog soon, but my favourite is called 44 and it's a beautiful kind of purple toned nude. I popped into the Zoella apartment recently, so I thought I'd show you just a couple of bits that I got in my goodie bag there. First are these pots, which I wanted anyway. Um, I'm definitely gonna buy some more of these because I have a lot of kind of succulents and I also want to use them as makeup brush kind of holders. There's like a copper rose gold one that says Blooming Marvelous and a marble effect one that says Pick Me. And I also wanted to show you the reed diffuser. This is called My Eden and it's the scent of fresh roses, jasmine and geraniums. I love reed diffusers and anything smelly that I can add to my house. So I cannot wait to try this. I have a couple of packages here from Lush. First is the Halloween collection, which I've actually run through in depth over in a video on my vlog channel. So I will leave a link to that below if you want to see and know kind of what the smells of all of these products are. The bath bomb is amazing. Oh, it smells so good. And then also they've got some new lip products out, which is very exciting. They have a couple new like bullet lipsticks, which are super silky and very soft to apply and then they also have this which i'm very very intrigued by i've never seen anything like it i'm not even entirely sure what it's called but it's basically like a lip brick that you can either rub your finger or rub a lip brush in um to create your own kind of personalized shade i love the peachy shade on this i think it's so beautiful and i think combined with the nude shade and a little bit of the shimmer i think it would create a really beautiful lipstick so yeah I've never seen anything like this very bizarre so I really hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry if it was too long if there are any products you'd like to see in more detail do let me know and I will get on that and review it on my blog or I'll use it in a makeup tutorial do let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this again and I will see you next week bye